When I was in high school, I had a teacher tell our class, um, go ahead and skip, I don't care. The world needs ditch diggers too. I never missed a single class of his. And every time I dig a ditch, I think of him. All right, so today, we're doing an external penetration uh, for a sub-slab depressurization system. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators. And I was looking to get into the business. If you're a homeowner, check out www.nrsb.org. It's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code. I'll put you in touch with a radon professional in your area. So, I try to shoot videos of unusual stuff I come across. In this home, there were no other options on where to put the system. Um, that's all finished area, and uh, the unfinished areas are facing the street, so it's just a non-starter. So, uh, things we encountered. This is drain tile. Uh, purpose of that is just get water away from the house, from uh, gutters, and uh, it lays upon the, the footer here, so it keeps water off the footer, I, I do believe. I don't know everything in the world, but I'm pretty sure that it kind of doubles up as that. And uh, so we had enough wiggle room to just get over it, uh, the system. And I filled, uh, uh, used this stuff right here to uh, help make sure we get good suction in there. We don't want to be pulling from uh, cavities from where the uh, cinder blocks and so forth were. Um, so that was a trick. And so we're going to cover this back up and it's going to hug, it's going to come back in and hug the house a little better. And uh, as you can see, we left enough room for the manometer. Right here, this little trick will help keep water out of the manometer if you have to have it outside. Um, you know, the weather's just rough on this stuff and this is the best we can do. If you don't put one of these, you, you can pretty much expect to be called back. And uh, so that's a little fix that I came up with. The uh, tubes that they provide you with, there's enough for you to snip off and make that secondary little uh, deal right there. Should help you out. Uh, stuff we also encounter. This is, a, I do believe, a wireless, a wireless, uh, one of these fenceless pet systems. And, uh, it looks uh, pretty rough. I'm not responsible for that, but we'll, uh, we'll put that back together as best as possible. All this splices as were there before I I came on the scene. Anyway, I thought uh, I thought you'd be interested in seeing this, and I'll cover it all back up and uh, show you how we came out. And as you can see, that's my little trick right there to uh, when we do all this digging to keep it from getting so messy and to try to put it back. Uh, together as, as good as we found it. Uh, that little tray right there, that's, that's, they sell those to mix concrete in and they're great for, uh, for doing stuff like this. Uh, this is, I don't usually have to dig holes this big, but uh, you know, it's just my lucky day today. All right, talk soon. And here we are, the finished product. Uh, the the dirt and grass that went back pretty well um, you know with it kicked out like that if, if you hadn't watched the you know first half of this video it'd be kind of baffling as to how in the world something like that is is treating uh, this house but that's what we had to do to get around the drain tile and oh I almost forgot uh, two things when you do a manometer outside, be sure and screw it in. The sticky tape that they give you, um, it'll work forever indoors, but outside, forget it. It'll, it'll be toast in no time. Um, and also, these, these cell phone cameras are, are terrific because uh, I'll try to edit this in. When, what I did was I put the camera down inside the pipe and took a picture to see if it was being obstructed by all that uh, expanding foam that I used to seal it in. So um, definitely want to double check on that because that, uh, that expanding foam, it can really get away from you. And the last thing you want to do is have it clog up the inside of the pipe as it's stubbed in there. Um, as a matter of fact, the picture, you can see a little bit of it creeping in, but not anything to get worried about. 
And uh, we're going to call it a day. Pack it up. And uh, head home. All right, hope this video helped. Take care. So I wanted to show you another example of an external sub slab uh, system here. It's a little different than uh, the stark white one we just had. This one's going to be earth toned and uh, there's a couple little uh, obstacles that we had to overcome and I'll show you how we did it. Um, this is conduit with the electrical line powering the fan. And why is it like that? Because it just wasn't my lucky day is all. Um, so there's our fan and we'd love to have an outlet back here that we could tap into to power the fan but it just didn't work out that way. And so we're able to bury the conduit and then it'll reveal itself here and look nice and neat when it's all said and done. But, and so this is an earth tone house and um, I've got my pipes here all painted up uh, for the exhaust. I'll show you that at the end of the day. But, um, so we're moving a pretty good amount of air there. Uh, so let me show you inside why we did what we did. So there's the outlet that's powering the fan and we didn't have anything to work with over here. But when I fired the fan up, I heard this, uh, a lot of, a, a real loud hissing sound. So I had to um, get these baseboards off, take a pry bar and push these up and spray that, uh, that gap filler foam in there to, um, uh, to close that, that air gap. And I'm not completely finished yet, but once you start working with this stuff here, you, you can't take your eyes off of it. You really need to stay on task. I would have loved to show you the video of it, but let me see here if I can't. All right, you should be able to hear a little hiss right there. So I'm gonna pry this up and fill that in as well. And Try not to get too crazy with it because this stuff will, uh, it'll ooze out, reveal itself in ugly, well see, some got away from me right there, I'm going to have to clean up. Uh, this stuff will freaking bend two by fours up, so yeah, you really got to watch out with it, but it's, it is, it is great stuff, that's the name of it, but it'll, it'll help you out in a pinch like exactly what I just had, and I'm lucky that I can pull this carpet back and get to it because in these... You know, when a house is finished like this, uh, that, that's, that, that can make your job difficult if there's a gap between the floor and the wall. Um, but anyway, we're going to land on our feet here and I hope you picked up something. Alright, before we put the exhaust on, just wanted to show you, we were able to put the uh, carpet back, baseboard, so it looks like it never happened. And uh, quick tip, I don't think, I, well I know I didn't, this conduit run was 12 feet and I'm getting ready to cover that up and everything, but it would have been impossible if I didn't use baby powder. Um, I've shared that in a couple videos before, but when you're cramming wire into a conduit, it's, it's literally like pushing a rope, uh, if you've ever heard that saying, and this gets it done. Uh, it's a nice trick that an old timer showed me, and uh, I'm in his debt uh, for showing me that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, uh, we're going to get this thing up to the roof, hopefully before uh, night comes. Okay. All right, so here we are. It's a little after 7.30. One job, one day. That's how we do. Um, you know, you can come back the second day. If you choose to do this, uh, this, this gig, <laughs> uh, you know, by yourself, you're going to be in for some long days. And, uh, but I mean, if you get a helper, obviously you get out a little quicker, but, um, it, anyway, I choose not to stretch these into two days. I think it's more of a pain to come back. I'd rather just soldier on and get it done in one day. But, uh, so this is how we came out. Earth toned exterior sub slab depressurization system. Alrighty. On to the house. We are back a couple days later. I'm retrieving my radon test, and uh, it's just, I guess I'm, I didn't want to obscure my beautiful work with darkness. <laughs> uh, 
um, might be, you know, worth it to see it in daylight and everything. But, uh, you know, that's a, an earth tone system and um, it, it's certainly worth it to go that extra mile to get them like that. And uh, I feel like the conduit work we did right there uh, worked out beautifully. You'll never be able to tell uh, how hard we <laughs> worked to get that like that. And uh, there it's revealing itself like so and uh, looks pretty good. I'm proud of this one. Okay, see you in the next video. Take care.